these jeans are sitting on the booty. It may seem that we have ran into another problem. If you're the junk to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Hold up. Please don't get me hot. Stallion knees, girl. Stallion knees. If you've seen people with their crack out, when they squat, don't be that girl. Ain't no stretch in this hope. You gotta pick a struggle. Oxygen or a nice booty. Wagwan beautiful people, I am Chef V. If you're new to this channel, welcome Wagwan to this Jamaican and extended Caribbean family. Make sure you are subscribed down below. Now for today's video, I'll be doing a denim try on haul. Now I'm super excited for this video because I know it can be a challenge, like a real life issue, a real life struggle to find the perfect pair of jeans to fit your body. Especially if you are like me and you have more like a pear shaped body where you're small at the top and a little bit wider on the bottom. It is so hard to find jeans that actually fits your waist and emphasizes your curve. So for today's video, I picked out some jeans from Fashion Nova to try on for you guys. So I got my jeans in a size nine. I am a 43 inches on the hips, a 30, I don't even know. I think I'm a size 30 inch around the waist, I believe, maybe 30, 31. I haven't checked in a minute, but I know I gained a little bit of pounds, you know what I'm saying? And I am a 35, 36 in the bus. I usually go for a size seven, but I realized that a couple of my jeans don't fit like they should in a size seven, so I went up a size and ordered some size nine for the first time. And I am hoping that they fit true to size. Also, I got some stretchy jeans, I got mom jeans, I got some ripped jeans. So I'm going to be trying like a variety of different type of denim jeans for you guys and a couple of tops. And we're gonna see how they go. So are you guys ready to start? Let's get it. Okay guys, so we'll be starting off with a classic pair of jeans. And these are called the Precious Fit High Waisted Jeans. Now I got this in a size nine, as I said, and these denim fit so comfortably. I don't know if you're supposed to go a size up than what you'd usually go for when you're doing denim, but I just felt like it was a good idea, especially when I wash my pair of jeans and they shrink and then they just feel super uncomfortable but these feel so soft like I don't know it's almost like a suede feel and it's not squeezing me up it fits comfortably on the waist and this is how it's looking at the back so it hugs my booty in the back and it gives like a nice plump pear shape as opposed to them flapjacks pancake booties so no pancake booties over here girl these jeans are sitting on the booty see king yeah so it is skinny jeans all the way down to the ankle and i am 5'3 so these jeans don't like you know when you're a shorter type of girl and you get jeans and they're all bundled up on your ankles these fit real nice and i love how the front feels so this jeans is actually hugging me from top to bottom and it feels good it has stretch so there's actually more room in here without the jeans looking baggy and i'll be able to wear my belt with it without it squeezing or looking weird and either draped up in the back because usually sometimes when i wear a belt with some jeans it gives like a weird gap in the back but these jeans are sitting real nice so next thing that I like to do, we're gonna do a squat test. I gotta make sure that I can do all type of things. I can do the what, what, what. But yeah, so we're gonna do the squat test. Them stallion knees, girl. Stallion knees. Okay guys, on to our next pair of jeans. This is what you call a boyfriend jeans. Now what differentiates the boyfriend jeans from the other jeans is it is more like a sexy baggy type of look. Boyfriend jeans are just real sexy baggy jeans. That's all boyfriend jeans are. So this is called No More Games Distressed Boyfriend Jeans in a Light Blue Wash. Now the last time I got me some boyfriend jeans, 
I made the mistake in getting them in my correct size which end up making them look like regular freaking jeans so this is size 9 which is the same size as the jeans that I tried on before so I knew for a fact that 7 just wasn't cutting it now I got some chunky thighs as you guys can see like peeking out i will be okay to wear these in the fall but as soon as winter gets here i know these jeans are a no-go for winter but they feel so comfortable they're soft it still fits my waist but still giving me a baggy look down here which is what i need and what i love i hate when i get a boyfriend jeans or a type of baggy jeans and it's all baggy right here you don't need your boyfriend jeans to be baggy here unless you got you're trying to go for that look with a low hip riding type of jeans but knowing me i got a little bit of tummy you know what i'm saying i got my back fat and shit so i want my jeans to hold me in i want my jeans to make me look like i've been working out non-stop i need my jeans to make me look like like you know like my all oh, that i need my, my jeans for suck me in and this is what this jeans is doing without making me not being able to breathe you know what i'm saying so there's still room in here i will still have the gap in the back unavoidable in some instance but it still fits great and look at the booty in these jeans even though they're baggy jeans they're boyfriend jeans the booty is still sitting in them jeans girl you don't have to go with something like super distressed because a lot of people don't dig that but i like that so we can do another squat test damn Oh, on to the next one okay guys now this pair of jeans is called deep in my soul flare jeans now what i call these jeans i don't know if americans call them i don't know what other people call them but in jamaica i call these bell foot bottom jeans so these are flare jeans these have been in style for over a year i would say because i see these this style jeans last year as well now i'm on the short side so um it's a little bit too long for me unless i'm gonna wear these with heels which i have seen a lot of people do as a part of the style so i feel like they should be worn with heels just to show like the full look of the jeans as opposed to it like looking hella weird on the bottom just dragging on the floor because my ass is short but apart from that these are the tightest fitting jeans that i've tried on thus far this is also a size nine so it fits snug so you want to keep that in mind that it will fit snug in the front it's more of like a thinnish type of material it's more on the thin type of denim it's not a thick denim um, I wouldn't say it's like a legging, what do you call those, jeggings? It's not a jegging, so it's not that thin and elastic. It's more towards denim than leggings, but it's still light. So you just want to be mindful of that, that it will fit, fit you with all its might. But I love how it fits in the back. You know, I already know the pear booty is in full effect. The plums are juicy. They're looking real juicy in the back. They look good. You can move in it. So if you go somewhere you want to dance. Because you know sometimes jeans can be real restricting when you want to move or to wear to a party or wear somewhere that you want to dance. Jeans can be a real party pooper. But these jeans, they feel good to dance in. You know what I'm saying? You know you can do like a butterfly. I think we have encountered our first real life problem. Oh God. Shh. Oh girl. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Hold up, please don't get me hype. Write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy bitches. I just raised my price. Girl, this jeans is something serious. It is something so that in girl. Whew. Whew. Okay, we can do this. We're almost there. Now these are mom jeans. I don't know why it is fitting. You know what? I know why it's fitting tight. Mom jeans as opposed to boyfriend jeans 
don't have any stretch. So I should have went a size up, even though I already went a size up to size nine, but I knew that mom jeans are not the stretchiest jeans. I think that's the major difference between mom jeans and boyfriend jeans. Mom jeans don't typically have any stretch at all and boyfriend jeans usually fit nicer and they have more of a stretch. So this is called, I got it from my mama jeans and I'm gonna just say this, ain't no stretch in this bitch, okay? Ain't no stretch in this bitch. She's thick, I'm gonna give her that. This is some thick ass denim, some good quality. These jeans look like they could last a lifetime, like a real mom jean, but it ain't got no stretch. 99% cotton and 1% spandex. And I'm guessing that spandex is in the ankles, girl, because it ain't doing nothing else. On the booty, because I guess that's the most important part. So if it's real nice, girl, like, my butt is not letting me down in these denim. Like, these denim, they are grouping, grouping them plums. And I appreciate that. As tight as it, is, as it is, and as much as I can breathe, they still fit nice. Makes my thighs look extra chunky, and I don't know if I'm upset about that. So what if I can't breathe? But my ass looks fat. So what if you can't breathe, girl? Your booty still look good. You gotta pick a struggle. Which struggle will it be? Oxygen or a nice booty? Now I'm thinking if I went a size up, would it not look as good as it looks? Would it be like too much of a baggy loose fit going on? I don't know. I'm conflicted right now. I would suggest to you guys go a size up if we're gonna get mom jeans so that you'll be able to live a long and healthy life as opposed to your body lacking oxygen to survive. It may seem that we have run into another problem. Okay, there we go. Whoa, girl. What the heck is happening? Why don't you love me? Tell me, Dana, why don't you love me? <laughs> deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Oh, fuck. Deep breath, deep breath. Okay, but it feels comfortable once I'm in. At least the top is comfortable. Right here feels kind of weird. This part of my leg feels weird. Like it's restricting my knees. We made it, bitch. <laughs> so these jeans are called Played Again Skinny Jeans in light blue. These are a size nine. From what you've gathered from the beginning is that these jeans have no stretch What? So ever it says stretch jeans in the description, but I ain't feeling that poo. It says 98% cotton, 2% spandex, and ain't no stretch in this bitch. Okay, <laughs> ain't no stretch in this hoe. This is how it looks in the back. Oh girl, yes, I like that. I like this happening in the back. I've never had a denim jean that had rips in the back because I've always been scared that that looks too ratchet or my cheeks may fall out of the rip but this has enough rip where it is like giving the illusion of skin and giving a little bit of ratchetness but still keeping it a bit classy let's do the squat this mm? don't squat just go on your knees just go on your knees girl ain't no squatting over here but they cute mm? yeah i just bust the jeans some more on the side now this denim right here is called nothing compares to you crop jeans so this is a crop no, being a short girl usually crop jeans just fit like a normal jean but it actually is cropped at the ankles which is super cute now these have stretch in them but they're not the most stretchiest of jeans there's not much room, so you better make sure that you get the right size. Okay, girl, so you gotta make sure that you measure. So this is size nine, and size nine fits me to perfection. There was no way I would have gotten in a size seven. Like, no way. Like, I would be delusional to pick a size seven. So size nine is my right and truthful size. These look like a regular weekend jean this is something that i would throw on to just go about anywhere this would be the jeans that i would just choose during the summertime during the winter time during whatever time because 
it's just that type of jeans i could wear it with whatever i could wear it with some air forces make it look super casual i could wear these with some high boots or ankle boots and pull them at the ankle to give it even more of a crop look like this is the type of jeans that you would just grab on now it's not the most high waisted of high waisted jeans as far as high waist go because i feel like high waist jeans usually come up a little bit further above my belly button but this sits right like my belly button is right here so it fits right below my belly button so it's not exactly high waist it's more mid waist and this is how the back is looking so the back is low so the back is sitting real low but it still fits the booty nice so it does give you curvature it does give you some shape it won't let you down and give you some flapjack pancake booty because we like that okay we like flapjacks we like jeans that don't fit like they're supposed to you want our jeans to fit like I don't know like they're designer jeans but still have quality so the quality in this jeans is real nice I like denim jeans that have this this type of wash thing going on like you guys know what I'm talking about you see what's going on here like I like like these they make it look real high quality type of jeans and I really did that let's see if it will pass the squat test down we go it's real tight in a squat girl don't do that it's real tight just look at the back all my panties will be out in the back okay so if you're not wearing a bodysuit and you're wearing like regular regular t-shirt with this all your crack will be out and that ain't cute like you've seen people with their crack out when they squat don't be that girl so keeping in theme with the denim i got this denim short jacket which is really cute i wear a lot of dress like maxi dress mini dresses usually like spaghetti strap or no sleeve type of dresses and sometimes it gets like a little bit cool or chilly in the nighttime and just to add a little flavor to my dresses so i saw this mini jacket and i thought it was like the freaking cutest thing i've ever seen so i got this in a medium size and it's a medium wash even together with this denim like this is kind of cute okay guys now when you get denim and jeans you need tops like cute tops to go with your jeans so this top that i'm wearing is called back it up satin top back 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 it up oh. now i live in toronto so i have this small window to still wear this top maybe in the next week but that's just about it because fall is quickly approaching and it's getting chilly. But satin type scarf looking tops have been trending all year round. And I don't feel like it's going to be ending anytime in the near future because they look so freaking bomb. And this adds a little bit of flair to that style. So it has these buckles magic straps going on and then it has the tie in the back so you can tighten it however you want now if you're part of the itty bitty titty committee or the big boob girls um this top can fit anybody because it has a lot of material here to make sure that your tatas are all in and also for the itty bitty titty committee to give a little bit of tease so you're not all the way hidden and just completely flat chested in the front it still gives a little bit of sass a little bit of flair a little bit of something happening in the front so i love how this look i love the detail of it i love the design of the scarf like type of material and it's thick so it's not see-through you don't have to worry about someone seeing your nipples or tatas or something because it's really thick and also the straps is adjustable so there's a buckle thingy magic in the front here or not in the front in the back that you can tighten it if you want it to lift a little bit more or you want it to hang a little bit looser so you have that option with this top now this top is truly a vibe and my favorite type of tops because they're loose they're easy to throw on the only thing is you need to iron these type of tops I don't have to wear a bra it doesn't show too much it's comfy it's covering enough but still sexy so this type of top is just freaking bomb. I love loose type fitting t-shirt type, not t-shirt, but shirt type tops. Is that what they're called? So this top is called by the pair tie shirt and it is truly a vibe. And I'm loving the peach pink type of look to it. 
it's just freaking bomb okay guys now this is our final item and this is called the top search corset now this is a corset top where it's all hooked up in the back I couldn't get all the hooks because I had to put it on myself so I missed a couple of hooks but this top is so freaking cute I love the color I'm not the biggest fan of pink but this is giving me more like a peachy type rose pink and I am freaking loving it for my small tata girls it has these bustier looking thingamajigs here for your padded boobs so it's giving you a lot of cleavage as long as you get the right size so i'm usually i usually go for a size medium top but i went for a small because i knew it was a corset and i wanted it to lift and push and emphasize so i got it in the small so that it could do just that but this is like freaking one of the most cutest tops I have ever seen okay beautiful people this is the end of the video thank you so much for hanging out with me today I hope you guys saw some denims that you will be willing to try if you'd like to see clothing hauls comment down below to say more clothing hauls should I be want to see some more clothing hauls let me know and I'll give you guys some more or you could just comment what type of video you want to see next let me know of all the jeans which one was your favorite if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet you need to go on ahead and subscribe down below so you can join our family. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at DamnThatsChev. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys. Mwah.